Hello everyone! So how's the month of September been treating you so far? For us here, we are back to work, back to school, and excited for what's ahead. On our daughter's first day back to school, the husband and I took the day off, and I made one of my favorite dishes ever. So to make this dish, I needed a pinch of nutmeg, some salt, 2 tablespoons heavy cream or French creme fraiche, 30 grams butter, 350 grams milk, and 1 kilo of potatoes. So since I've bought the Thermomix, I've been making mashed potatoes with it rather than using the food mill as my father taught me. Um, I'm sure he's probably looking down at me and not too happy about it, but you know what? Yeah, his version remains the best, but the Thermomix does come to a close second. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to make a follow-up video of mashed potatoes, the version that my father taught me. But today let's stick to the Thermomix version, which is as easy as any other Thermomix recipe. You basically just have to follow the machine's instructions. One thing that you do have control of are the ingredients. One thing that I learned moving to France is that there are so many types of potatoes out there on the market. This means that you have to choose the type um, that is best suitable for whatever dish you're planning on making. For example, it would be wrong to use the firm type potatoes, which would be better in salads. Um, for mashed potatoes, it would be best to use the creamy type. Another tip that I got, and this one was from my father, uh, was using nutmeg in cream preparation. The freshly grated kind, if possible. Add the potatoes, add the milk, let it cook, season with salt, add the cream and nutmeg, whip and bam, it's ready. So most people like mashed potatoes with meat, steak, roasted chicken, sausages, but that's not my case. So let me show you how I like to enjoy my mashed potatoes best. So while the Thermomix was busy making mashed potatoes, I was busy sauteing some fresh garlic, onion, and tomatoes in olive oil with a cut fish fillet. So this is how I enjoy my mashed potatoes. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you haven't had this combination yet, please do. And let me know. Bye. Till next time.